stop meditating, start self-hypnotizing. Welcome back to another video, I'm Maximilian, I help entrepreneurs reprogram their mind, rewire their lives for success, happiness, abundance, joy, purpose, fulfillment, you name it, I do it! So this video, like I said, you may be thinking, but Max, you, hypnot you meditate twice a day, sometimes three times a day, what can I say? <laughs> it's something I love to do. Why would you say stop meditating? Now, that doesn't mean stop actually doing the act of meditation, but start being more conscious more intentional with your meditations and turn them into self-hypnosis sessions. Now, you would have seen a video that I created about self-hypnosis. It's either on my page or in the link below. Go find that video. It's hard to miss. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very hard to miss. There's, it's, it's a crazy thumbnail. But essentially what it is, it's allowing you to drop into an intentional state of meditation, which is self-hypnosis. Because Buddhist monks meditate to a place of complete stillness. You and me aren't Buddhist monks. We don't live in a monastery. You do have other things to worry about. You do have other people to worry about. Kids, family members, brothers, sisters, parents. You can't just completely live a monk's life in the, the modern society. It's not really possible um, not, not to live at a high level. Yes, you can allow yourself to, if, if you work for yourself, you can maneuver a schedule around you. Great example is that is Jay Shea. He's brought back what he learned from the monasteries and brought it back into his everyday life. You can do that, 100%. But if you're just starting out, don't go too far with it. Because if you go too far, you're gonna scare yourself. If you start meditating for three hours a day, three times a day, you're doing nine hours of meditation. Realistically, I don't even do that. I'm not saying that I'm the best meditator. I, I do it to a level that allows me and, and suits me. I maybe do about two hours a day in total, uh, maximum I would say. And that suits me perfectly fine. Sometimes I'll do an hour during the day, I'll do half an hour to 45 in the morning, half an hour to 45 in the evening, sometimes only 15 minutes at times. But the more I do, the better I feel within myself 100%. I can vouch for that every single day. So ask yourself this question, what is it that I actually want to achieve? Because the first part of meditation, but the key of meditation, is part of the Buddhist mindfulness meditation, which is allowing you to detach from thought. Now here is a huge key that I'm going to share with you that I learned from Joe Dispenza. When your mind starts to wander, keep saying to yourself, body, I am the mind, and bringing it back to centre. Body, I am the mind, bringing it back to centre. Because meditation isn't about being the best meditator. It's about overcoming yourself. When you start to overcome yourself, you start to make these shifts. And you are telling the body, I'm in control. Because your body, 95% of your life, as I say before, wrote, uh, lives through your subconscious mind. It is, the pre it is the programmed mind. Your body is that. Your body is the unconscious mind, the subconscious mind. So when your body is acting saying, oh, I've got to think about this, I've got to think about this date I'm going to, I've got to think about this, this person, I've got to think about this business opportunity, I've got to think about those videos I've got to make, which I do. I bring myself back and I say, body, I'm the mind. And I bring my center back. And it's like, it's like pulling a, a, a dog, a, a brand new puppy. When it's running off, you bring it back to center. When it's running off, you bring it back to center. Just imagine that with your thought. When you start bringing it back to center, once you get to that still state of mind, like I said, if you want to understand the self-hypnosis part to induce yourself into hypnosis, go watch that other video. But once you've done that, then you can slowly detach yourself from your body. Once you do that, you can be intentional. This is where you can start hypnotizing yourself to create this change. Rather than just meditating to get rid of things, you are meditating to get rid of things and you are programming yourself to, to create things. Because energy cannot be destroyed, it can only be transferred. So that energy that you're spending on that anxiety, that worry, that fear, switch that over, transfer that to excitement, love, joy and fulfillment. When you start doing that, you start creating and visually seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, adding the senses in, when you can, when you can really get that place in your head, that's when it will start to come to you. Things start to shift. When you can allow yourself to let go of that, once you've got to that place, and you do that every single day, you want to let go of that place. You want to let go and just let it flow. Let go, let it flow. And when you can do that, like I said, you start to see synchronicities happening. That's a coincidence because it's just as I started doing those meditations. Just as I did yesterday, I did a new meditation that I've been doing for myself. 
things start to change. My, my demeanour in myself starts to change. I start to act in different ways, which allows me to create what I want to create. So that's exactly what you should aim and strive to do. If you want to change, obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm not here to help you change. Uh, no, I am here to help you change. I'm not here to tell you to change. I can only help you change if you want to change. It starts with that decision. So make that decision today to stop meditating and start self-hypnotizing. Really not much in it. I'll be quite honest, it was just for the thumbnail. It was just, just for the title I'd wanted. But essentially that's what I do now. I, to some people I say meditation, to some people I, I know I do self-hypnosis on myself all the time because it's a much deeper state. I can feel myself dropping, falling deeper. But that allows me to create these changes in my life very, very quickly. So I hope you've learned something from this video. I hope you've gained something from this video. If you want to like this video, like the video. If you want to message me for any help with self-hypnosis, feel free to send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you. Help you reprogram your mind. Help you allow more business to come into your business. More, more abundance to come into your business. More happiness, more fulfillment within you. More joy, more purpose. More than happy to help you with that. Send me a message. Keep spreading love, kindness and positivity.